Well, it's December, it's cold, and we'll make this quick, but it's a glorious day here on our Airport Road. My name's Diane Marlin, Mayor of Urbana. Before we get started, I wanted to introduce a couple of special guests. We have representatives from uh, Congressman Rodney Davis's office, um, Larry Sikowski, there he is, thank you for being here, and a representative from Senator Tammy Duckworth's office, Linda um, Yoakum, correct, there she is. So thank you very much for being here. And it's just, it just uh, reinforces the idea that these projects are, you never do anything alone when it comes to infrastructure improvements and we appreciate you joining us. So today we're celebrating the ribbon cutting of Airport Road West reconstruction project. Uh, this is a little over, a project a little over $2.2 million. The funding came from the Illinois Department of Transportation Economic Development Program, the IDOT Truck Access Route Program, and City of Urbana Tax Increment Financing, or TIF District. I'd like to um, acknowledge the uh, work done by the Farnsworth Group of Champaign, Illinois. They were the engineering design and construction consultants. Want to wave? Okay. <laughs> Construction contractor is Foytz uh, from Paris, Illinois. He came a long way. And then the City of Urbana project manager, Craig Schonkweiler. There he is. Craig deserves an extra round of applause. <laughs> He's had a lot of projects on his plate lately. And it's wonderful because this just follows on the heels of the opening of Lincoln Avenue. So this project was started in May of this year, finished up in uh, just last month, and then the final landscaping will be completed next May. Just a little overview of the project. It consists of three lane wide street with a center turn lane, uh, left turn lanes at Airport Road and Cunningham Avenue and at Airport Road and Willow Road. We have asphalt approaches at the east and west ends, drainage with curb and gutter, storm sewers and drainage basins, traffic signals, always stop control at Airport Road and Willow Road, and pa recessed pavement markings and improved traffic control signage. So this, this really is just a, a wonderful road which adds to the uh, transportation network in North Urbana and will will support future um, development and better access for businesses and residents. The, um, specifically, the IDOT ed Economic Development Project funds help Frasca grow jobs. It provides access there to their facility. And Frasca, as you know, is a world leader in design and manufacture of flight simulators, flight training devices, and simulation components. It was founded in 1958. and. Um, over 2,700 Frasca simulators have been delivered worldwide. And I'm going to take a minute to, to acknowledge the vintage aircraft behind us, which is very appropriate. And they're all, I assume, all World War II era uh, aircraft. And it's very appropriate that, that we stand here in front of them on this day, December 7th, which was Pearl Harbor Day. And I, I'm reminded of my father-in-law who flew Navy, he, he was a Navy pilot, he flew Corsairs off the aircraft carrier Essex, he was shot down near Okinawa, he was picked up out of the water by, uh, spotted by somebody in a, another plane, he was picked up out of the water and rescued by the battleship Washington. He came here to the U of I on the GI Bill. Um, married a sweetheart from his hometown. They had nine children, six of whom then attended the U of I and one of whom I um, married. So um, it's, it's a story of, from World War II that's been repeated many, many times over in this country. Okay, back to additional thoughts. Farm and Fleet benefits from this improvements. Um, better access to both entrances there. The reconstruction of Airport Road down to Willow Road then uh, unlocks potential development of uh, 28 more acres of land uh, across from Frasca and west of Farm and Fleet. So again, this all contributes to uh, the infrastructure that's necessary to support development in this area. And the City of Urbana eventually would like to see Airport Road extend to Lincoln Avenue, and this project is the first phase of that extension. So we'll see what uh, happens in the future. I want to um, point out or acknowledge the um, presence of our Public Works Director, Bill Gray, and City Council members Dennis Roberts, Bill Brown, and former City Council member Charlie Smythe. We all voted for this project. So, so between the people who voted for it, the people who planned it, the people who built it, 
uh, and the people, uh, the entities who funded it, we have a road. So it's with great pleasure we uh, celebrate its opening today. Does anyone else want to say anything? Yeah, I'll do something. It's always good to see a development happening on the North Cunningham uh, roadway. It's one of the accesses to the community. We have uh, uh, the interstate uh, connectivity, very convenient for people. And I hope that this spurs economic growth here in the North area. Starting with three. Two. Two. two one. one. Two.